This Let's Play is for entertainment purposes only. It is not to be taken internally. The views expressed by the characters in Disgaea 4 do not necessarily reflect the views of Surreal Canine or those of his god. Humans don't get to become prinnies, and hard work won't atone for your sins. Jesus Christ has given you the atonement you need already. You just need to believe and trust him. Accept Jesus as your king and savior today. Hey everyone, Surreal Canine here. It's been a while. Um, I know I was kind of uh, really out of it the last time I uploaded a video. Uh, I'm feeling a bit better now. And I'm kind of bored and Disgaea 5 is about to get a re-release on the Nintendo Switch. So I think I probably ought to get going on this grandiose quest of quest again. <laughs> <laughs> I see a new character here on this uh, on this splash page that I know nothing about. That's pretty great. Also, that was my nail clipper. Me just setting it down on the computer like a big old derp phone Anyway, what we got here is Disgaea 4, a promise revisited. It's uh, it's the fourth game in the Disgaea series, at least the main series. I don't know where this guy infinite falls on the release schedule <laughs> um, it's a video game for the ps4 and ps vita released in 2011 I am playing the ps vita remake of course because it's got all the DLC from the original plus a bit of extra stuff so hopefully we're gonna have a good time here and joining me today is nobody, because I am the only person who still plays Disgaea 4 in this day and age. <laughs> no, that's probably not actually true. But, uh, anyway, I guess we should get started. I This is probably the Disgaea I've played the least out of all of them, just because, uh... Well, I don't really know why. I just kind of like Disgaea 3 a little better mechanically. Then again, I... Maybe the real reason was just that I was trying to get really far in Disgaea 3 before I even took Disgaea 4 seriously. And then D2 and 5 came out, and then I just kind of fell off the wayside entirely. But yeah, we're gonna play a video game. Let's begin. Let's check out some awesome anime intro. Preparing to start the application. I'm not gonna sing the anime intro. Let's just watch. It's pretty badass. Key. 
So yeah, I'm pretty sure you saw a, fami a few familiar faces there. Uh, Axel is returning from Disgaea 2, and Flan, of all characters, gets, uh, she sort of gets a role here. <laughs> Sadly, Axel is not going to join the party. I'm just going to spoil that right now. Well, not in the main story, anyway. Who are the other guys? Well, I'm sure we'll see eventually. <laughs> this first episode is probably going to go on pretty long just because uh, we got the whole intro to take care of. Plus, I want to do at least one tutorial battle. So, uh, yeah, that's what we're going to be doing. Alright, see, let's... I almost said see you guys, but no. We're going to... Uh, first, we're going to... Yeah, that's what we want. Um, we don't have a rear touchpad because <laughs> I am playing on a DualShock Four, and that only has a single touchpad. Fancy. Yeah, I think I might go with that. Going to set voice volume to max because. Well, we'll see why. <laughs> Turns out the main character is very quiet, that's Since why. The dawn of time, humans have always feared the darkness. Vampires, werewolves, zombies, ghosts. Although it differs slightly from culture to culture, people's fear of the darkness has grounded them into living conservatively. In the current world, thanks to wars, terrorism, weapons of mass destruction, accidents caused by human error and daily incidents of murder, humans have grown to fear the actions of their own kind, even more than the darkness itself. This Hello is there, the Alucard. <laughs> ...who have stood up to fight back against such a corrupted Society. The fresh, dripping blood, veins sinking into its skin. Oh, what a splendid taste! The extract of life overflows and fills my body. I can feel its power. Oh, the waves of ecstasy! How oh, magical! Of oh, these insignificant creatures known as sardines! <laughs> His name is Valvatoris, an elite vampire who was once feared for being a tyrant. In spite of his legend, he now spends his life in Hades, the Netherworld's prison, admiring sardines. Sardines. Who routinely showers his master with praise and compliments. As expected of you, Lord Valvatores. No matter the hardships or circumstances, you are ever the optimist, my lord. <laughs> Listen to this, Fenwick. Sardines are the most ideal food because they are full of nutrients, like omega-3 fatty acids. In other words, they cleanse your blood, prevent various diseases, and help you to burn more fat. Sardines are to Disgaea 4 as coffee is to Persona 5. Never underestimate the studies that are conducted in the human world. There is no doubt that my body is benefiting from these sardines' nutrition. This is evolution! My body is truly evolving since the time I was credited as being a tyrant. The fact that you don't even acknowledge it as a degeneration is one of my Lord Valvatoris' many formidable powers. But care for another to enhance your evolution, my <laughs> It's still flopping! This one looks rather juicy and delicious. 
Wait a second. Yes, is there a problem? Rick? Once again, you have attempted to sneak this into my meal. The blood of humans! As expected, my lord, you saw right through my deception. Of course! Never did. I only meant it as a gift to my master, who has lost his power due to a foolish promise that he made in the past. Since you can't buy great influences, I figured it would be prudent for you to imbibe it unintentionally. Do you disapprove? How many times do I have to tell you? A proud demon like myself would never break a promise. Demons' promises are supposed to be sacred. They are contra- I admire that you have retained your values as a demon, even after you lost your powers and fell to Hades. Lord Balbatoris, all of the pretties have been gathered. Please come to the pretty factory. You, pretty, repeat what you just said. Hey! I... I only asked you to come to the factory! Fool! You forgot to include dude in all of your lines! Pretty rule number one! You shall always include the word dude in every line you say! <laughs> You're absolutely right! Dude! I'm sorry, dude! Too late! We'll start over from level one. Spin, pretty spin! Level 120 task. Scrubbing the toilet. Can't even master the base. Oh. The quality of the human souls is decreasing by the day. That is why. That is why I have to do this. I vowed to become a printing instructor the very day I fell to Hades because I knew that was my true call. What an impressive ability to overwrite his memory of losing his power and being forced to take the least wanted job in the netherworld. This is another one of his formidable powers. He can convert any suffering that he's been through into something positive. No, way too good to be a lonely, pretty instructor, my lord. And the conspiracy begins. Before we get going, I've gathered some support forces to help you with your tasks. Yeah, I'm not gonna voice act all of this. <laughs> but yeah, uh, uh, Disgaea 4 gives you the biggest starting party out of any of them. We have a whopping 8 units to start with. <clears throat> In addition to Valvatores and Fenric, we also have a fighter, a red skull, and a healer. We've seen these guys in the previous Disgaea games. There's not too much that's different about them, really. Besides maybe some uh, ability stuff that I have conveniently forgotten. In any case, um, with regards to the uh, character demos uh, that I did for my Disguise 3 Let's Play, I might hold off on doing them again until the end of the uh, Let's Play, because... Uh, yeah, I don't want to have to play through this whole thing like twice just to get a character ready for a demo in the very first episode. <laughs> it's just not a thing that's going to happen. So yeah, if I do them at all, it'll be at the end of the Let's Play. And I might not even do them. I don't know. I just kind of want to keep this casual. Here we have a sardine thief. <laughs> hey, Valvatoros gets a kitty pet. Meow. <laughs> he does not like being a kitty pet. 
To the pretty factory! But first, let's talk to all the NPCs in the base. We, uh, we're moving pretty fast here. We probably don't need to be that fast. That's a bit easier to handle. It's Plain Air, the campaign manager. Estelle, the item worlder. Takahisa at the ability shop. Probably got some treasure chests lying around here too. Lawrence at the general store. Cleopatra, she's a guard here. It's the Netherworld's rehab center. <laughs> Everybody's just too lazy to help out. Tips, but uh, since I'm the one playing this game, I shouldn't need too many tips. This is another guard. <laughs> Conspiracy! We probably don't need to worry too much about that at the moment. Got uh, Hokuzo at the weapon shop and Pamela at the armor shop. Got Scion at the data shop. Memoria from the memory shop. Which we can see right away because uh, we, have, we already have some cutscenes. We got a pretty instructor. Wow, Fenric has anger issues. <laughs> yeah, these poor pretties. <laughs> Balvatore is, is very serious about his contracts. <laughs> yeah. Culture of the day is not a very good culture, apparently. <laughs> you need to get your standards right. Alright, let's check out our... Okay. Alright, that being said, I think we are ready to proceed into the Dimension Gate. Let's go. Basic Controls. There is, like, nothing here that wasn't in the, uh... After death, the souls of human sinners are sent to Hades. When they arrive in Hades, the Netherworld's prison, they are processed to become Prinnies at the Prinny Factory. The Prinnies go through extensive training in Hades before being sent off to the Netherworld or Celestia. They are to work diligently in a strict and harsh environment until they can pay for their sins. There you all are. You've gathered here just as I ordered. Yes, sir! Just as you ordered, dude! Excellent! Now listen up, Prinnies. Today is your very last day in Hades. You have all died and were sent to Hades. Why is that? Because we committed crimes, dude! That's right. You're lowly criminals. And who educated you, peons, who didn't even know how to speak like a Prinny? Lord Valvatores, dude! Correct. I've raised you all to become great Prinnies. So that you can be shipped out to the netherworld at any time. Today is the day you've been waiting for. Today, you will go forth and work hard to pay for your sins. The very last tutorial. 
We are going to learn to fight. Basics of combat. BA, no more games, and Shannon. <laughs> Which one of these names is the odd one out? Let me ask you something. Here I come. And characters have actually they had voice acting in, I shall re in you. absence of detention. Never mind. Bravo Torres, like Mao and Laharl before him, uh, likes swords. He really likes swords. So let's let's sword. The uh, the panel highlighting is a bit prettier than it's been. So you move your dudes, you assign your commands, and then you hit execute. This is so you can do a th multiple things on your turn. This Gaia is as much about working as a team as it is about just grinding off to infinity. <laughs> Tag team pile driver. <laughs> that was totally awesome, dude. <laughs> okay, so team attacks are when guys attack together, combo attacks are when guys attack one after another. Combo attacks are probably more important, especially against a boss. I would love to see a moment in a Disgaea tutorial where the main character just selects end turn by accident. <laughs> it would make it even funnier. Um, he didn't take that much damage. Uh, yeah, he is surrounded. <laughs> So yeah, dead units can uh, can return to uh, dead units can uh, be healed at the hospital, and if you game over, you just get kicked out to the base. It's very uh, merciful in that regard. Unlike the first two disguises. I'll teach you a lesson. Time to bust <laughs> <laughs> me. Your back is wild. Now, as for Valvatores and uh, Fenric's uh, starting abilities, Valvatores gets stronger as the battle continues. And uh, Fenric gets stronger when he's next to Valvatores. Remember this, and you are will probably be good to go for a little while, at the very least. Ready, Ready, <laughs> As you can see, I've put Fenric in the middle here, so he can uh, par hopefully participate in a bunch of team attacks. If you've got weak characters, clever tactics like this will definitely make all the difference. These guys have some pretty crazy high defense for uh, where you're starting out in the game. What do you have equipped? 
Imperial Seal, that uh, explains it, I guess. Here I come! Fenric has the uh, has the highest move of any units you'll be seeing in the early game. Although it would be a bit better if he had a uh, he had some shoes equipped. But shoes are very hard to find in this guy for for some reason. Like you can't just buy them. You gotta. Oh, Rose and Queen Company is ready. So yeah, we can upgrade somebody's weapon. Alright, so, we've done that, and that's probably going to be it for this uh, episode. We've gone on for quite a while, but now it is time for space-time and everything in between. Which, I mean, it's time for the end of the episode, which I'm pretty sure i said a couple times already. <laughs> Next time, we will be uh, upgrading our equipment a little, probably just buying Valvator as a new sword or something, really. And then we'll be continuing our tutorial. I hope to see you guys then. Bye-bye.